IE7 Pro is an add-on for Internet Explorer version 7 and the upcoming version 8. It's compatible with both. It will secure your browser and it has a lot of extra features which you will find very useful. Now, when you download it, you have this little icon. You simply go through the normal installation procedures and accept the agreements. I will come out of this because I've already installed it so I will close that window. Just click on download free and it will redirect you and you'll find more details on my blog. Now if you left click here go to preferences the modules tick this one left click to show the pro menu tick the ad blocker and the scripts and plugins these are not ticked by default you have a spell checker, auto form filler, a mini download manager Privacy Cleaner, Online Service, Find Bar and Faster IE. The base settings. These two are not ticked by default. I suggest you tick them. Show last visited pages and resume pages left open on last exit automatically. A useful feature is enable crash recovery which is ticked by default. You have IE settings. Uh, tick this one. Always open pop-ups in a new tab. Mouse gestures you'll find this very useful and one I added was a tab here where you hold the right button down on the mouse left click and it opens a new tab you have shortcut keys URL alias search sorry enable flash blocker and enable ad blocker these two you need to tick plugins you have AccuWeather Alexa rank and Google page rank and server info if you want them. User scripts. Now enable the user scripts. If you want to download videos from YouTube, tick this one. Maybe you want to remove the custom style on MySpace, then tick that one. And play around with these, see which ones suit you. Text saver. Enable text saver because this is not enabled by default. This is a very useful function. Privacy. You need to enable auto clear on exiting and tick each of these boxes. This is not ticked by default. So you need to tick it. Now at the moment I will untick them because I'm going to crash the browser in a moment. You have online service and faster IE enable prefetching. When you've done all of that, simply click OK. Now mine's already set up, so what I can do is I can go up with the mouse and this will take me to the next page, which is YouTube. Here you will find download video has been added simplifies things just a little bit. Now useful functions are downloads or links on other pages. What you can do is left click and drag it into white space, release it, it will open up in a new tab. Another useful function is the ad blocker. Right click, filter this image, add. It's gone. And this applies to all images and all scripts. Uh, there's a YouTube video here which has been blocked because the flash is blocked. You can restore it by clicking restore and that's it. It's back. So it's very useful for stopping scripts and ad blocking. So I'll come out of that one. Here's the link that opened by dragging the link into white space and the ratings. Now this is a test for Internet Explorer 7 Pro. What I will do now is crash the browser. Right, the browser has been crashed. I will now re After the crash and the, the restore of the browser, it recovers all of the windows that were previously opened. Now I would I put a comment in here which I lost. So I've come back to the forum and here we are. There's the saved text. 
so you haven't lost it the text saver saved it it really is very clever let's go back a tab there are so many things you can do with this you can come down you can close your tabs right click and left click and you have a new tab there are so many things you can do have a play around with it if you want any more information check out my blog free pc security which you can find at freepcsecurity.co.uk <laughs>